In this video, I will discuss the concept of enhancer trapping. The human genome contains around 30,000 genes, while a fruit fly's genome contains close to 16,000 genes. These genes encode proteins, which are vital to the function of each individual cell and to the entire organism. Upstream of each gene, there is a promoter, which is the binding site for the cellular machinery that will access the gene to allow for the creation of the protein that is encoded by the gene. All of the cells in the body are specialized to complete a specific set of tasks. Though each cell contains a full genome, not all of the genes in the genome are expressed in every cell. Each cell only expresses the genes that encode the proteins that it needs for its specific function. Furthermore, as the needs of the organism change, the demand for certain proteins change in a given cell. This means that certain genes are only expressed at certain times in a specific cell of the organism. How does the organism control which genes are expressed at a given time in a specialized cell? Enhancers play a large role. Enhancers are short stretches of DNA that help regulate which genes are expressed in a cell and at which points in the cell's life the genes are expressed. Specific enhancers are only active at specific times based on the needs of the cell. This means that there are different enhancers controlling groups of genes that are all active or dark at the same time. These enhancers may be upstream or downstream of genes that they influence. The only requirement is that they must be spatially in the nucleus close to the genes they influence. This is due to the fact that enhancers work by being bound to by proteins called activators. These activators interact with a mediator complex which then recruits the machinery necessary for gene expression to the promoters of the gene in range of the enhancer. It is important to note that this interaction can happen at a considerable distance due to looping and other changes that can bring well-separated regions of DNA together in the nucleus. Now let's say you have a P element that itself contains a relatively weak promoter that controls an expression cassette. Because the promoter is weak, the P element will not be expressed unless influenced by an enhancer. Should the P element insert itself into the DNA in an area in range of an enhancer, the enhancer will then begin to influence the expression of the genes in the expression cassette of the newly inserted element, just as it would influence the expression of other genes in the area that it would normally interact with. In flies, P element insertion often occurs in the first intron of a gene. When this happens, this can help identify the enhancers associated with the newly inserted P element. This is enhancer trapping. The enhancer traps the expression cassette of the P element, influencing the expression of the genes controlled by the P element promoter. In this way, the genes of the P element are only expressed according to the specific expression pattern dictated by the trapped enhancer. How does enhancer trapping help scientists? By trapping the expression pattern of the enhancer, we can analyze the spatiotemporal expression pattern of the genes associated with that enhancer. When genes of the P element expression cassette are expressed, reporter proteins are produced, which alerts a scientist to the expression of the P element, a product of interaction with the enhancer. We can trace the pattern of expression of the genes in the P element expression cassette, noting the specific cells in the organism's body that are expressing the P element genes, and noting the times in the organism's life at which the P element genes are expressed. Tracing the P element expression pattern gives us insight into the expression pattern of the organism's genes that are naturally controlled by the enhancer we have trapped. Now it's important to note that enhancer trapping is not foolproof. There are many ways this technique could be giving you false information. For example, 
your reporter protein may linger in the cell for a longer period of time than the enhancer is active. So while this technique is a strong tool that can give you a general idea of an enhancer's activity, it's not 100% accurate. Those are the basics of enhancer trapping. If you would like to learn more, see my videos of enhancer trapping examples.